Welcome back to our series on the Vantage Equinox widgets. In this session, we'll cover the Equinox music widget. In this and subsequent widget training sessions, we will not be repeating the introduction to those controls and navigations that are common to all Equinox widgets. If you have not yet viewed the weather widget video session, we recommend that you view that first to become familiar with those affordances. The context of this widget is the objective of having access to your collection of music sources from anywhere in the premises of the project. This context presupposes a multi-zone audio amplification system, wherein each listening location typically features a pair of speakers and full or possibly selective access to a common set of music sources. We'll jump straight to level two of the music widget to discover the power of the Equinox interface for this application. What we see here is the currently playing source in the actively selected zone, the master bedroom. When we've selected a source, we see that there are two basic divisions of the screen. The left-hand section provides control and feedback of currently playing se selection as well as zone controls. And this is the part that will show up on the dashboard layer. The right-hand section allows us to explore our music further and to make selections. Selecting a source to play is as easy as swiping left or right. To access the full list of sources available in the zone, we can tap the name of the currently selected source and then select a source within the widget. When that source is selected, that becomes the active source, the current source in the active zone. Let's examine some representative sources for music. The first representation here is a full-featured music server. This is the highest value type of source we can have with full access to a private music collection as well as internet-based streaming services. We have access to full metadata for music selections as well as metadata indicating the selection that is currently playing. The content we have access to will vary by music server, but in general you can typically see the contents of your private collection as well as listening options within subscription-based internet streaming content. Within the private music collection, labeled library within the widget, our music server gives us access to the collection and multiple sorting options. We can typically sort by album, by artist, by genre, or by playlist. We can make selections to play. Specific controls can vary among music servers. The left-hand section, as previously mentioned, provides metadata for the currently playing selection. It also provides transport controls such as play and pause, skip, previous, skip, next, randomize, and repeat. At the very bottom of the left-hand side, we see the controls for the currently selected zone. These will always be found here no matter what kind of music source is selected. The zone name doubles as a power toggle. When the power is on, the zone name is lit in the ochre color consistent across the Equinox interface. When the power is off, the zone name appears in white, indicating it's off. The volume up and down buttons are found uh, to the right and left, respectively, of the zone name. If enabled by the music server, we can access our subscription-based services, such as Pandora, Spotify, and TuneIn. In this particular implementation, we have Pandora, wherein we can create a new station or we can select one of those that we already have created. TuneIn is a free internet radio service. Here I have many choices, including local radio stations, as well as worldwide stations and podcasts using genre-specific searches and filtering by language or by like location. You could spend hours literally exploring all the possibilities. The media server is an example of an Ethernet connected music source. The next representative audio source we'll touch on is the tuner. This is an AM FM tuner and in this instance represents a serially connected music source. The right hand section shows the currently tuned station frequency and band. Below that are a collection of presets. We can set a 
preset to the currently tuned frequency by pressing and holding it. In the left hand section we have seek and tune controls. Of lesser value might be an IR connected music source because we uh, cannot obtain any feedback within the widget. If there is a local video display corresponding to this audio source, for example this Apple TV, then the navigation buttons provided by that device's drivers may be useful. Any source device that doesn't have a corresponding driver can still be selected for listening within the zone. The widget instructs us to use a separate interface to access and control the content of that device. For example, here with AirPlay, we have uh, AirPlay from your iPhone implemented through an Airport Express or Apple TV, and you would simply need to connect your iPhone to the implemented port device and wirelessly stream what you are currently listening to on your iPhone. Notice that in this example implementation, the user is instructed to connect their iPhone via AirPlay to a device, to a specific device, which if they're comfortable with AirPlay should make sense to them. They would then use the built-in music controls on their iPhone to search and select music, which would then be playing in the active zone. The speaker icon at the top right of the screen represents access to all the listening zones. If that icon has a plus and a number after it, that represents how many other zones are actively listening to the current sources selected in this zone. Actively listening is defined as selected and powered on. Press the speaker icon to access other listening zones. Touch a zone to select it for control. Touch the sync icon on the very left to select other zones to play the currently playing source in the currently active zone. Here you can also turn each zone on and off and adjust specific volumes and examine the current state of um, including the selected source in that zone. The all off button at the top left allows you to turn off all the music zones. When we press the top right edit icon, we enter the edit mode where we can configure multiple aspects of the music system, specifically the zones, the sources, and the options. Within zones, we can select which zones will appear in the current profile and we can reorder them as desired. The first position, as with all Equinox widgets, is key in that it will be what will appear in the dashboard layer. Here we might mention the potential value on a mobile Equinox enabled device, whether tablet or smartphone, of room specific profiles wherein the first zone in the list corresponds to the primary location for each profile. In the Sources tab, <clears throat> we can filter and reorder sources. This has particular application with person based profiles. Junior's profile, for example, might not include mom's or dad's sources. The Options tab allows for three options of viewing albums within the library of your music server device. Selecting Grid will cause the albums to appear stacked across and down as we've seen previously with the album name below the cover art. Selecting List causes the albums to be displayed in a single column with a smaller cover art and larger album name. The final selection, Text Only, is similar to list but eliminates the album cover art. With the phone based app when we dive to the second level we simply see the right hand section of the second level as seen on the 73 and tablet based app. The left hand section is not seen here but it is available back at the dashboard layer. This concludes our treatment of the Vantage Equinox music widget. If you are a Vantage integrator, you also may be interested in viewing the Music Widget Setup video. A link is included herein. Thanks for watching.